I have been writing down the past couple of weeks um, a list of items that I've used in my overlanding and four wheel drive career that I really love. This is an answer to a video that I did not, while, not a long time ago about um, my 30 years of overlanding and things that really annoyed me. And this has been actually a more difficult a list to make because so many things that work well just kind of blend in. They don't stand out. It's when a product is really catastrophically, I cannot believe how bad this is, that it stands out in my mind. Maybe that's just my personality. Actually, the flies aren't too bad. Um, and I want to talk about one right away that has really impressed me. I'm Andrew St. Pierre White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and traveling to the remotest parts of the world. Of These videos are made possible by contributions from Patreons. Join the Patreon family now. It's called the LR10, made by Nightcore. They don't make the LR10 anymore. They've got a model that has superseded it. I have no doubt that it is, the new one is better. It's magnetic. You hook it on whatever. And I also put a little piece on one of, I've got a couple of them, a little piece of Velcro. And for lighting around the camp, when you need lighting in a certain area, on these go. And they, three sets of brightnesses. And I'm telling you, these things are the most useful camp lighting you can imagine. So that's my first shout out product that I absolutely love is the little LR10. What else? All right. I've got a couple fitted onto my, this car now. I'm going to I'm going to show you what they are uh, that I that, that stand out to me. And here it is here. It's my quick pitch awning and the reason why I mean it's an awning right you might look at it and say oh it's just an awning it's just another awning and Andrew likes it okay fair enough well to me it ticks the boxes that awnings the instant awnings you've got to tick a number of boxes and the boxes that are ticked by this to me the most important boxes are as follows it has to be easy to open and easy to close. And if any of those are missing, then it is not a good awning. And the reason for that is that being an instant awning, I need to be able to put it up in an instant. All right. That's how quick it took me. Fast. This particular one is really big in terms of its pure, the, the volume of shade that it produces. It's fantastic. Um, and again, with a with a instant awning, if it's not difficult, if it's not easy to put away, I'm not going to put it away. It's, I'm going to need it. In an hour's time, I'm going to need it. It has to be easy to put away. Thank you, Quick Pitch, for not making the bag too small. So common. Bag is too small, so you have to wrestle with it. This isn't. I can get it back in maybe maybe double the time it took me to, to put it up. So how long was that? I don't know. I reckon I could probably pack it away within a minute. I love it. I, it ticks every instant awning box. Because if you can't do those two things, then it cannot be classed as an instant awning. Then it's just an awning. And if you're going to have that amount of weight, that high up on a vehicle, then it has to count for something. And to me, I now have, no matter where I camp, I've got shade. And even if I stop for lunch, I've got shade. And that to me is the difference between an awning and a really good instant awning. Here's another. Opinel knives. 
I love the wooden handle, the feel, the blades dull reasonably quickly but they're very very easy and very very quick to sharpen. I have two of them and they are with me night and day not just around the camp. I use them at home all the time. I have well I have two of them but they're always around. I, I love them. Just something about them. I don't know what it is about them but gee they're nice. So that's a that's I've had a lot of knives and the one that is stayed with me for oh well over a decade I've had these next to me Snowmaster fridges you know what is a deal breaker with Snowmaster is this guy here the remote control and from the remote I can, can not only control the fridge uh, it will warn me if there's a problem with the fridge in other words if there's a, a, a lose power with the fridge the um, uh, remote will warn me if I want to reset it I can from here and not only that because I can do that it doesn't matter which way the fridge is configured in this particular case it's not a problem because I can easily get to the settings but if it was the other way around it would be a pain to get to the settings of this fridge I don't need to worry I've got this so um, I, I, I think they're fantastic value for money they're very well made they perform extremely well and the deal breaker this guy you know what this it's got nothing to do with my favorite product but those of you who don't live in Australia you will you will be amazed at this Australia has got a lot of flies it's well known we deal with flies and yeah well you know we Sometimes they're incredibly annoying. Today they're bad but not terrible. You cannot buy a decent fly swatter in Australia. You can only get these flippy floppy things that are made for 12 cents in a Chinese factory somewhere and they are useless because they bend, they're all bendy. In Africa, you can get beautiful, when I say beautiful, the way they work, they're made out of their wire handled and the, the slap of it is made out of uh, normally game leather kudu impala that kind of thing antelope and they are brilliant at fly swatting why unbelievable in the country of the fly can you not buy a decent fly swatter oh I thought of something else Oh my name BP51 shock absorbers. I tried them out on my troop carrier. Th there was a there's a history of these uh, these shock absorbers. They had a few teething problems which they sorted. So when I took my first set in 2017 for the troop carrier, the ride those shocks go they really and in rough terrain and ordinary street terrain, it, brilliant. I was very very impressed. And I fitted them again to this they are exceptional and it's because again here is the deal breaker you can tweak and set the rebound and the compression I don't know of another product that can do that I fiddle and tweak and a lot of people will say well you know it's not that easy to to adjust no it's not that easy to adjust that's not the point of it the point of it is you tweak it until you're happy and then you have a brilliant ride and then you leave it you just leave it and I I have got to the point now I've done my third adjustment on this I might need to do some more because I am going to change the rear springs it, this is slightly undersprung at the back I might do some more tweaking but there I the ride is excellent I really rate them highly William Painter sunglasses and I'll probably mention them again but the reason why they are so I like them so much is not because of the bottle opener it's because that I am so hard on sunglasses I Oakley's I just ruin them even worse uh, Ray-Bans I just destroy them so uh, you know these I think these are three years old maybe and I had a I had a pair stolen these are at least two years old. Anyway, they're fantastic. 
and that I have to mention that is the little travel buddy oven and I would recommend it to absolutely everybody because now suddenly with it you can cook things that you just couldn't cook uh, in, in any other way apart from making a stove in the ground and all that kind of thing it's an oven it's a small oven works off 12 volts uh, you need a re fairly robust battery system to make it r really functional um, what does that mean that means lithium batteries it uses quite a bit of electric current but oh that foam that's to stop it rattling while I'm driving I'll just take it out before I cook I love it see the travel buddy is not just about about cooking things in an oven it's a, it eases the burden of camping for example I could buy some pizzas put them in my fridge and have them for lunch or alternatively I'm driving long distance and I know I'm going to arrive at a campsite late and I'm not really interested in cooking after I arrive at the campsite put something in the oven so when you arrive open it up and it's cooked so it's like a long cook it's really really good at doing long cooks and I've eaten pork roasts out of a travel buddy not mine because I'm a hopeless chef but really marvelous marvelous thing and that's why I've given it such an important place in the back of my my latest vehicle here's another product that I really really like and it needs to go on this list Camp Cover is a South African company based in Cape Town and they make um, canvas gear of all kinds I've got quite a bit of it around my vehicle but of all of the pieces they make that I, I think is particularly good is the uh, rear wheel carrier bin I think guys at Camp Cover you overdo it a little bit with the velcro but you've got velcro and zips I don't think you need both but anyway um, properly designed two, two different compartments um, this one perfect for rubbish I have in here um, other bits and pieces for, for camping including a water hose uh, for getting you know water from taps and things into the vehicle and other bits and pieces uh, great place to put uh, cooking grids in fact my cooking grids are in here too somewhere there's my cooking grid this other bits is actually foam for a little project I'm doing now in camp uh, as my cooking grid that's the kind of stuff that goes in here stuff that's dirty why is it good well the, the strapping it straps in a in a cross around the back and it is properly held down uh, it's just you know there's some quite a few on the market now the earlier this is one of the earlier ones um, there was a one made in the United States which was a bit of a bit I actually laughed when I first saw it it was called a trasher roo it looked like a large scrotum hanging off the back of the vehicle and um, the way the straps were connected you couldn't put anything heavy in there at all it was fine for rubbish but not good for anything else this is a multi-purpose tool and I thought I would mention them because they're a bit expensive but this is not this is not a Chinese manufacturer this is made in South Africa so um, and, and labor you might think that labor is cheap in South Africa it's actually not it's certainly cheaper than it is in Europe and in Australia but it's not it's not on the same standard as China so they do cost a reasonable amount but you get what you pay for the value isn't bad at all now for number nine and number ten SEPTA make water diesel and petrol cans they're plastic and they are an exceptional quality these two I've had for well over a decade they are um, military specification they also make a civilian specification uh, lighter but also very very good and they're, they're so they're only slightly more expensive than the rubbish that is available from really cheap stores I mean just terrible stuff a little bit more you pay 15% more and you get yourself a proper proper can so scepter Thank you for those. Those are donated to me oh, well over 10 years ago. Lastly, number 10. 
this person, this company, this brand. This is not a particular product, not a specific product, it's an idea. Terrain Tamer. I put you on the list, Terrain Tamer, because not only your products are good, I haven't found a single one of your products that I th haven't, haven't thought that is really good, but it's more than just that. It's the fact that you have kits. I want a catch can kit. So I get the catch can, I get the, all the pipes, they're correct, that they're pipe clamps, assembled. everything I need. Change wheel bearings, wheel bearing kit. Everything is there, the bearings, the, the seal. So not only is it a good product, it solves problems. It's a problem solving product. And that is why they, I think, deserve to be added to this list. And for those of you who have noticed in the background, my workshop and my aircraft. If you want to find out more about the aircraft, you're going to have to go to our alternative channel, which Gwyn and I share. And we're hoping to have this beauty flying within two months of the release of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Forex Overland is truly independent of sponsors, and that means our reviews and commentary cannot be influenced by commercial interests. I invite you to help us stay independent and enjoy our supporter-exclusive content. Details in the video description.